Hi, my name is Gina and I am going to be doing hormone replacement therapy. If you um, are a woman, a woman only needs one tenth the amount of testosterone as a man does. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that there is not testosterone in dosages for women. So if you're gynecologist uh, recommends that you take testosterone and you decide that and agree with her that you would or him that you would like to start taking testosterone you can get it pretty cheaply this box um, is a 30-day supply for a man it has 30 of these packets in it for a woman that's a 300 day supply of testosterone and it's not very expensive. I got mine at the Costco pharmacy and it was only like $101. That's like 33 cents a day of testosterone for a woman. And that's without using any health insurance. That's just the regular price for this. So, so what's the challenge? The challenge is that this packet is very light. It only has five grams of testosterone gel in it. And if I was a guy, I would just rip it open, rub it on my abdomen and call it good and be done. But as a woman, this packet's to last me 10 days. Now, my pharmacist and, um, and doctors that I, other doctors that I've watched on YouTube who prescribe this for their female patients, they also recommend getting the box that could last you a year and very inexpensively. And what they have said to do is for a woman is to tear off the top and um, squeeze a pea size amount on your finger. And then you can rub it on your abdomen or on your shoulder and uh, or on your upper arm. They said, you know, just rub a pea size amount and then um, fold it over and put like a little clip on it and stick it in a Ziploc baggie and every day pull out a little bit and have it last 10 days. Well, I haven't done this before yet and it doesn't feel like 10 peas in here. I'm afraid that um, it wouldn't last me 10 days, that one day I'd have like a big glob and then after five or six days, I wouldn't have any left. Uh, and I would like to have a more even dosage of this. So I've been trying to think how in the world am I going to divide this into 10 and keep it moist? So what I'm going to try today is I'm going to open up my packet. And I found a little container that had a nice tight lid to it. And I am going to dump out, squeeze out all the testosterone into here. And then... Um, most pharmacies have these uh, syringes for if you have a baby who needs to take a little bit of medicine and they usually give it to you for free at the pharmacy and that's oral where I syringes. got this, oral syringes. So I have uh, one here that has five milliliters in it and I believe that's around how much of this there is. I'm going to see for sure though and then try to divide it by 10 and then give myself a little, a little, um, standard amount each day. Standard amount each day. Okay. Okay. So let's give this a try. So if you screw up, I have it on tape. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first time trying to do this. But it's always fun watching something for the first time, isn't it? Okay. Uh, garbage can. Okay. Garbage can. And I'll empty it later. All right. You don't want to leave, go. um, globs of, of steroids, I mean, uh, what is this? Yeah, tis, well, testosterone. Testosterone laying Hormones. around for anyone else to just accidentally touch. So we'll have to clean this up and everything really good when we get done. Right. And I'll tell you, that packet was so small. See how teeny tiny this little dish is? It's not even all the way to the top of that dish. And it's so hard to see because it's clear. It's not a, uh, there's no color to it. But anyway, 
Um, I'm now going to put the syringe in and I'm going to pull up. You see there, see, wait a second. I see that there's a bubble. I'm Is it all the way to five milliliters already? No. Okay. Plus there's a bubble. So I'm going to squeeze some out again. Okay. We switched roles. I mean, Jeff, Jeff, we got uh, five milliliters is what... Um, is how much is in a packet. So we've got that figured out. And ready? I'm gonna put a half a milliliter in each one of these little things. Here. Okay. And what he's putting it into is a, a, a seven day med pill thing that has um, morning and afternoon. So there's 14 spots and they're, um, they have a real nice snappy lid that goes on them so hopefully it'll keep it from getting uh, this is going to work Jer. yay so i just want to be sure i have at least 10 10 tries at a dose per packet here look at this right here just get close to there see those little? yeah those are the little pea sizes okay. yeah, and those are each a half a cool half a milliliter half a milliliter There we go. Yay! Divided into 10 and even what day of the week. How cool is that? Right, paper All right. Paper. And if you don't have one of these little dishes, that's okay. You could put it in a shot glass, you know, and then uh, uh, suck it up out of the shot glass. You're going to have to remember those dates there in the middle. Well, I'm starting today, which is a Tuesday, okay. and the where you did the full week is in purple. So I'll do the t purple Tuesday first, and then um, and then I will do and then I'll do the others. Yay! <laughs> now we know it'll last ten days. Oh my gosh! It took us two weeks to get enough nerve to figure out how in the world we were going to do this and start it, but I think we've got our procedure there. Yay! Thanks, Jeff. You're welcome. <laughs> the next morning. Okay, I waited until morning to put on the testosterone. You're supposed to put it on around the same time each day. And, um, and so it is morning. I did put the pill pack in a Ziploc baggie as well to make sure that it stays wet and it looks I can see that little drop down there okay I'm gonna you can put it on your abdomen your shoulders or um, or your upper arms and I'm gonna choose my abdomen you also want to be sure that kids don't get a hold of this um, after you rub it in you need to wash your hands really good and uh, definitely keep away from kids. It also says once you rub it on, you need to let it dry and then um, have clothes that covers it. And uh, hopefully it'll do the trick. Um, in the United States, women can get prescribed um, testosterone for low libido is, is the only thing that you can get it prescribed for. However, there are many gynecologists that are seeing that not only does it help women with low libido, it helps in other areas too, like hot flashes. So um, anyway, I'm hoping that it will do the trick. And I think that's, that's it. Yay. I'll let you know later how it goes. Bye-bye.